Friday, January 30th, 1942, Elza Binder. When fear crawls out in the evenings from all four corners, when the winter storm raging outside tells you it is winter and that it is difficult to live in the winter, when my soul trembles at the sight of distant fantasies, I shiver and say one word with every heartbeat, every pulse, every piece of my soul, liberation. Bias and prejudice are about failing to see someone's humanity, reducing them to some type of simplistic idea. And so to the extent that these diaries help us to practice this very important skill of really seeing another person for who they are, then I think that they're very, very powerful. Salvaged Pages is a collection of diaries that were written by teenagers during the Holocaust. It came out in its original edition in 2002. I spent 10 years collecting them, finding them all over Europe and all over the United States. I just had this sort of extraordinary experience of being so taken by this material, so amazed by how potent it was, how meaningful, how each individual voice was so unique and distinct. And I was really confused as to why these diaries were so little known. As I began thinking about them and as I continued to read and think about young people in the Holocaust, I started to think about looking for more of them and trying to find more material. And the more I looked, the more I found. These were teenagers who were being viewed as a cancer in European society. But when you read their diaries, you see each individual voice and each individual person, how complex they were and their ideas and who they, what they wanted to be and what they were good at and what their families were like and where they came from. And you, you have to confront who their, their humanity, ultimately. Racism and bias and prejudice and stereotyping are ways of reducing people. Jews are this way. Blacks are this. Irish are this. It's reductive. You ignore their humanity, and that's what allows persecution to happen, is that you don't see another person for the, for the human being that they are.